frickin' hair. going down people of the world my name is redbeard and this is yet another beer review thank you so much for joining me smash that thumbs up button in the face and let's get into it shall we for the beer of the today we've got a can of q beer i think it's just a light lager or something 4.6 percent by the soda city brewing company out of gravenhurst ontario obviously collaboration with um pride this is with muskoka pride i'm assuming is the main group for the uh advocation of rights of these kind of not these kind of people my god that sounds horrible of these groups of people um and yeah i'm assuming there's some kind of profits from this or going towards it or something it doesn't say it just says uh like uh in cl collaboration with skoka pride it's an amber lager uh with 18 ibus spalt magnum and ella are the hops canadian two row rice dark munich melano melanoidin and Carafa 2 Special are the malts, and White Labs German Lager Yeast was used. And there is so much hair on this freaking couch right now. Let's get into this, shall we? Oh, sawdust City shirt, Sawdust City glass, damn right. All right. This glass apparently wasn't clean quite as well as it should have been at all. That's really actually disappointing. I gave it a quick scrub before I needed it. I failed with the scrub. It looks nice, barely amber. It's really, really light looking. The head has a slight, slight off whiteness to it. It looks all right. Lots of carbonation flying up, but again, that's just the bubbles coming off the side of the filthy glass. Horrible. It smells like an amber lager. Like actually, the rice is coming through. It's got kind of almost a a bit of a Budweiser smell, if that makes sense. It smells nice and malty. Let's give her a shot. That's delicious. That is a really, really nice light lager. Amber lager. I haven't had a lot of traditional German beers, but this has got some kind of overall flavor quality that's making me think German beer. But it's damn good. Let's do this. Cheers, everybody. Nothing bad to say about this at all. Carbonation, bang on. It's got a nice refreshing quality to it. A couple of these on a hot summer day on a patio would be amazing. Forgot to have this as a picture as it usually is. SawdustCityBrewing.com. We'll bring you to SawdustCityBrewing.com. They're all open and stuff now. If you're going through Gravenhurst, stop in, see them, bring a mask. Yeah. This was sent to me. By the amazing people at Soda City, and I forgot about it in the back of my fridge for a little while. June 1st, currently August 23rd. So, a couple months old, but it's still completely fine. And this is, it's kind of funny actually, because this is an amber lager. And they rewrapped cans that I believe were used for their. What's the name of it? It eludes me, but their amber lager. That says our take on a German lager right there. German Amber, sorry. I know words. Frickin' hair. I vacuumed, like, two days ago. I need a Roomba. This is nice. I think I'm gonna change things up a little bit. Rather than doing the review, pausing, going and sitting down, and coming back, for the last of it, like, I can make a pretty quantified decision about what it is, what it, the rating is. Like, the beer analysis and other people like that, like, there's, they don't sit there and wait till the whole beer's gone. And the video can then be more to the point. So, like, I'll just go, like, drink number the last for now. 
and uh, Soda City Brewing, your Q Beer 2020 version. I'm not sure if you made it before now or if you'll make it next year, but I'll throw it out there. Um, first amber German lager I've had in a long time, and that's getting a very solid 8.5. Like, highly recommended. Just like it's highly recommended that if you can find some, you drink it. I think they might be sold out of the brewery at this point. I can't recall. I was there like two weeks ago. But uh, with that in mind, if you liked the video, like the beginning, little like action, always appreciated. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. And um, yeah, leave some comments down below if you had the beer and let me know what you thought and stuff like that. I'll be back with something like this pretty freaking soon. Peace out. I feel like that's going to work out well. I like it.